Welcome to the Female VC Lab podcast. We're here. Thank you, FRP, for having us here at Formula One. I have two wonderful guests here and one line. Give me your name, your titles, and your area of impact. Thank you for having us today. This is Scott Sewell, the Executive Vice President of New Energy, and we're here today to discuss our distributed energy into the world market and being able to subsidize what's out there in the grid. Hello, thank you for having us. My name is Hunter Vlog. I'm president and CEO of New Energy. Area of expertise is lithium battery energy storage and distributed energy business. What inspired you guys to get into the energy storage and power business? There are many areas, not only within the United States, but also all over the world that continues to have a problem with the grid and the energy available to operate not only households, but also commercial buildings, as well as any type of facility that's requiring a significant amount of power. And so what we've been able to do is to look at those needs and the impact of those on a worldwide basis and be able to come up with solutions to that. And we feel very confident that we can make a huge impact on the future for not only, like I said, the residents, but also corporations that actually are building new manufacturing facilities. They're actually bringing more and more technology into the marketplace, and they all require more energy than what is out there on the grid today. Hunter, do you have anything to follow up from that? In addition to that, we can also help the environment with clean energy creating carbon credits as well as carbon neutral. So tell me a little bit more about that impact and how your power systems are different in creating that kind of environmental or even from a a people side, right? Because the less kind of carbon and and environmental elements we have in the air, it does impact people. So our technology is based on lithium-ion batteries and the capability of them to be able to be deployed out in different areas, not just in major cities or anything like that. So we can actually generate a significant amount of power for putting into the grid and and offsetting a lot of the issues that are out there. So the the impact is going to be the fact that we'll be able to hopefully minimize any kind of blackouts or rolling uh, brownouts that are out there in the market. Which is so painful in California. (laughs) And so... We we have that pain all the time. Yeah. And so they're Again, the utility companies have continued to struggle with providing all that is needed, and we feel that we can supplement what's out there today. And again, with the carbon credits and such as that, it just makes everything a much better environment for us all. Hunter is still on the impact side. So let's say you wanted to deploy this into California. How would that help California environmentally? And then how would that help California from solving some of their problems on the grid? One that comes to mind is our express power management system, which oh, okay. will help the utilities and help people that are driving electric cars and be able to charge quickly with our level three charging solution. So it assures that our archaic grids can keep up with the demand to be able to charge these cars in 20 to 30 minutes. And by deploying our battery system with that, it will allow them to get the clean energy they need in order to charge their car rate. Tell me what you're currently learning or listening to or reading these days. Hunter, do you want to go start with that one? We'll go to Scott next. Sure. Learning a lot about this fantastic industry that we're in and learning about artificial intelligence. And I believe that's one of your, probably one of your next questions, how it's going to impact us in the next couple of years. And by coming here and seeing uh, Grace and everything else, we're learning a lot. And I guess we'll get to your next question and touch on how we can do that. Yes, we will. Scott, any follow-up thoughts on learning or listening to or reading these days? No, with all the all the research and all the expanding of technologies into the marketplace and being able to for consumers to be able to utilize this in a positive way, that's what we look for in trends and how we can impact and help bring those to fruition in the future. Thank you for that. So we're here at AI and Arts. In two years, how do you see artificial intelligence? impacting your industry specifically, which is the power management energy so industry. Power, power management industry obviously is a well-known entity 
And one of the things that artificial intelligence can do for us is to be able to anticipate and be able to see ahead of time what's going to happen so that for the energy side, we can actually turn on supplemental energy into the grid in order for those blackouts and such as that to to not happen. The other thing is for artificial intelligence to be able to manage the fast charging of electric vehicles, Mm -hmm. as well as making sure that they're operating properly and we'll all be able to benefit using the artificial intelligence in order to help those processes out and keep everybody on the road because the infrastructure has got the increase. You have to have the infrastructure to match. Absolutely. Like what we currently have. Absolutely. Or else it's a disincentive, right? right? Why would you spend all that money on an electric car? Yeah. And then you can't like the u- utility of it is less. Yes. Than well, than it is now. Charging anxiety, which I actually well, had a few weeks that ago. That is a thing. That is a thing. First time to rent an electric <laughs> vehicle and wasn't aware of the ease of being able to pull in and get a tank of gas, whereas I had to sit for two hours and get thirty minutes worth of charge time to continue my journey. So level three charging is going to continue to play an important role in the electric car. Absolutely. Hunter. How do people contact you and your company? Scott, do you want to go for that? So we have a presence on social media, obviously, but we also have our own website and we've also have a full network of people out there that know new energy through our distribution channel on a worldwide basis. And so being able to contact us through those avenues would be the best way. Thank you, Scott and Hunter from New Energy Systems for being our guest on the Female VC Lab podcast. Thanks for F4P, sponsored by them. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you.